I was born on August 10, 1994 in Sheboygan, Wisconsin. Sheboygan is a smaller town on the shore of Lake Michigan, right in between Green Bay and Milwaukee. It is home to many big industries like Kohler Company, Johnsonville Sausage, and Sargento Cheese. These companies provide people many jobs and create a strong middle class presence in Sheboygan. Recently, an article stated that Sheboygan was said to have the most even distribution of wealth for a metropolitan area in the United States. As far as my family goes, I am the oldest child and have two younger brothers, Thad and Zach. Right now, Thad is 15 and my youngest brother, Zach, is 11. My family is a pretty traditional middle class family. My dad works as a cardiologist and my mom used to be a nurse, but now she stays at home. My family's socioeconomic status, or my ascribed status, offers me life chances and opportunities that I otherwise wouldn't have had. For example, when it came time to find a summer job, I was able to work in the billing department of my dad's office instead of bagging groceries or working in a restaurant like many of my friends. Also, because I lived by Lake Michigan, I took up sailing as a summer hobby and eventually worked as an instructor teaching little kids how to sail. I come from a Greek family, and my family also goes to a small Greek church. My grandparents and the other Greeks in my church constantly remind me of the potential for social mobility. Seeing all these people who came to America with nothing in their pockets taught me that education and hard work are the keys for a successful life. In sociological terms, I was shown that by working hard, I had the ability to increase my achieved status. Because my dad would often work long hours, growing up, my brothers and I were constantly fighting over his attention. From a conflict perspective, this tension helped teach me from a very early age that good behavior earned my parents' attention and praise. As a result, for the most part, I never really rebelled or acted out and I worked hard in school. I went to a small private school called Sheboygan County Christian High School. My entire graduating class had only 22 kids in it. With a class size this small, it was easy to stand out and be involved in almost all school activities. Throughout high school, I played volleyball, basketball, and soccer. I was known in my class for being serious about school and almost always being part of a sports team. This sometimes caused role conflict, and I had to learn to manage my time between my after school activities and my homework. Being a Christian school, my teachers tended to emphasize traditional roles and ways of thinking. My school liked to teach that the husband is the head of the household and that God created everybody both rich and poor. Much like functionalist thinkers, I was told this social structure resulted in a well-rounded, stable society. Although my mom and dad generally carry out traditional gender roles, they never force them on me. When I was a little kid, I never really played with dolls or did other little girl things. Instead, my favorite activities were playing basketball outside and watching Star Wars. I wasn't treated any differently than my brothers, and we were all expected to help with both the housework and the yard work. Even though my mom gave up her job to stay at home, my parents have always encouraged me to be independent and have a successful career of my own. Our book states that sociology looks at how others influence our behavior and how we ourselves affect other individuals, groups, and even organizations. Looking at my life from a sociological perspective shows how I have gone from growing up in small town Wisconsin to now being a student at Butler University, hoping to one day be a doctor.